Recently, we did a brief video on phase, and today we're gonna do a demonstration, give you an idea of what it really is. We have two speakers, one stationary, the other one is on a sliding track. So watch what happens when I start moving the one forward relative to the other. So what happened? From my perspective, I could still hear the frequency the entire time, but in that one particular spot, the frequencies were actually canceling out. This is effectively what's happening with noise canceling headphones, but this is a bit more visual demonstration of that. Uh, so each frequency has a wave length. It's actually the length of the wave. If you look at the amplitude over time, the length from start to end relative to another frequency defines the wavelength. And as it turns out, these frequencies don't always add up. If you have two speakers and you move them out of alignment from one another, it actually shifts the alignment of one frequency to the other. So you could cause a period where both waves actually destructively add up. They don't actually increase in volume. At the same frequency, if the wavelengths are misaligned, so one's going up while another's going down, they could effectively cancel each other out. Luckily, this isn't really a problem with most headphones since you usually can't plug them in backwards, but with speakers, simply reversing the terminals, positive and negative, being installed incorrectly, that would cause a phase difference. And if you did that only on one speaker, it causes significant issues where one speaker is emitting a frequency exactly the opposite of the other speaker. And this is effectively what's happening inside noise canceling headphones. There's a little DSP chip in there that's making a determination of what's noise and what's actually in your music and it's trying to put in a sound frequency that's exactly the opposite of the noise, so it doesn't eliminate the noise, but you don't hear it because of this destructive interference. And that's also why a lot of times on subwoofers, you see a little phase knob in there that you could adjust the phase so that wherever you're placing the sub, you could get it so it still aligns with the speakers most of the time. Room placement and other factors, design of the room, of course, have considerable impact on this. Uh, that's why they make it adjustable so you could compensate for your exact environment. If there's any other cool demos you'd like us to try out, let us know in the comments below. We'd be happy to give it a shot. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Stay subscribed to see more content like this. And take care.